Welcome to Cooking at Home with I Cook After School, and I'm Chef Neve. Today we're going to be making a really tasty treat, but it's healthy, and it's chocolate truffles. Okay, so the very first thing we got to do when we enter the kitchen, before we start working with food, is wash our hands. Okay, so as I said before, we're going to use soap, warm, slippy water, and wash our hands for at least 20 seconds. So that way we have killed all of the bacteria and all the germs when it comes to working with food. Okay. So today our special ingredient that we're going to use are dates. Have you ever heard of dates before? So think of maybe prunes or other dried fruit and they grow on palm trees and they're really common in the Middle East and we like to call them nature's sweet or nature's candy and they're really high in sugar and they taste delicious so we're going to use them in our chocolate truffles today and to add really tasty sweet goodness but what we had to do and we did this before um, earlier we had to soak them in warm water so when you get your dates you put them in a little bowl soak them in water so that way um, they're not as dried and it'll soak up the goodness and they'll become more sweet. Some of the dates as well come with a little nut in the middle. So as you can see here, these dates have already been cut open because I took out um, the pit, the inside of them. So we did that all beforehand, so we're ready to go. So today we're going to be using a special thing called a blender. Um, and that's going to mix up all our ingredients. Um, it's very important when you're using a blender uh, that you don't stick your hand in because as you can see there's a really sharp blade. As well as that, uh, make sure you're always with an adult when you're near a blender. Um, just for safety, we don't want any fingers getting chopped off, okay? So let's get started. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do is add all our 15 dates into the blender. Our dates first and blend those up. Also, have you ever heard of anything called the blender dance? So it's like the freeze dance. So when you hear the blender going, you gotta dance, but then when it stops, you gotta freeze. So you can play this game at home. Okay, ready? Now the next thing we are going to add is half a cup of sun butter, okay? So I'm going to scoop that in. So we already got some of the blend, the dates started to blend up. Okay, so we got our sun butter. And the next thing we are going to add is our cocoa powder. So we need four tablespoons of cocoa powder. So one, two, remember we want a, a level tablespoon, so not a heaped one, three, and four. Perfect. Now, earlier on, we made something called oat flour. So we put half a cup of oats in the blender and blended it up, so it's like it's, we call it oat flour. So it's like flour you get in your packet. So we're going to add the oat flour. Perfect. We're also going to add a little bit of salt. So it might, you might take a pinch of your regular table salt that you have. Um, or here I just have a salt grinder. So I'm just going to add just a very small bit of salt. And that will bring out all the tasty flavors. Okay. And... We are going to blend these up together. Remember, you can still do the blender dance if you're with someone at home. If you hear the blender, you gotta dance, and if it stops, you gotta freeze. Okay, so once everything is blended and ready to go, I'm gonna scoop all of this mixture into a large bowl. And I'm gonna use something called a spatula. 
So this is really useful to scrape everything from the sides, especially when it's really sticky, because that's from the dates and the sun butter. Okay. Perfect. Don't forget, we're gonna clean as you go, so I'm gonna pop this container into the sink. Okay, so we have two more ingredients to add. We're gonna add one cup of oats. At this point, I only had a quarter of a cup. So how many quarter cups make one cup? Four, excellent. So I'm gonna add four cups of oats. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, and chocolate chips. Okay, so we need half a cup of chocolate chips, so two quarter cups. I'm gonna add one and two. Now, for this point, we just gotta mix everything together. So you can use a spatula, mix it all around. Right. Great, so our mixture is ready as you can see. So we need to make balls, they're chocolate truffles. So I'm first gonna get a container so we have something to put them in. So then we can put them in the fridge for any time we would like a tasty treat. Okay, so the, the trick I like to use is get a spoon and get a spoonful of the mixture. We're gonna put that to the side and then just put it in your hand. We can make a circular motion with our two palms of our hands, just like that. And you can put it into a ball or a sphere. If not, you can also use the palm of your hand and circle it on the chopping board. And then we're gonna put them in our container. Okay, and then these are so much better when they're put in the refrigerator for one or two hours. And then afterwards, don't forget to do your mindful taste test. Remember, we're gonna use our five senses. Does anyone remember what those are? So it's gonna be our eyes, the smell, their taste, and what they feel like, and even if you hear anything. So let us know. As well as that, check out our activity sheet that you can do after this recipe. Hope you enjoy.